So welcome to All About Symbian's coverage of the Smartphone Show 2008. Rafe's here. Say hello, Rafe. Hi, guys. Say hello, Ewan. Hi, everyone. Welcome and, to the show. And there are some great video interviews and features coming up. Here's one right now. So uh, I'm Steve Litchfield here with uh, Laurie Sylvia and Richard Kinder from Red Bend. And um, I understand there are three main things you're demoing at this year's show. Would you like to just take me through the, what the three are, ending with the one that Richard's going to demo? Sure, yeah. Uh, Red Bend Software is the leading provider of mobile software management. Uh, we have three products. The first one does firmware updating over the air. Our second product is a device management client. And our third product manages software components over the air. Okay, so you're going to demonstrate at That's the library right. updating yep. live on camera. Okay. Yep. So what we have here is an N78. Um, as you said, this is running Series 63 Feature Pack 2. Yep. Um, so I hope you've made some interesting kind of user experience changes and um, one of the interesting things for me, and it's a little bit geeky, but everybody knows how to get a software version up on an Nokia phone. So we do the star hash, four zeros hash, and the novelty here is that immediately this takes us to the software update screen. So you know, if somebody asks you from a call center to check your firmware version, or if you know yourself how to check the firmware version, then you go straight to the software update screen. So cuts out a lot of yeah. messing about finding the uh, actual update application. So we can see what version we're running here, when it was last updated, all the usual bits and pieces, which language pack we've got in there. So if we uh, check for an update, it's going to prompt us that we're going to connect to the internet, saying that you may incur some cost. Uh, what it's going to do is connect to Nokia's server, yep. it's going to check for an update, we're on the orange network, so we've just got a little dialogue there asking for the uh, yeah. correct access point to connect to. We see that there's an update available, it's 127k in size, um, it's going to be downloaded uh, to the phone. So this is like, mm -hmm. um, like a, a Windows Windows update, and there, there are, you can have small patches or larger patches or even a complete OS replacement. So, right? Yeah, so one of, the, one of the clever things about our technology is that we have some really good algorithms for finding the differences between two versions of software. So these phones, as you know, contain multi-megabytes of software, and we can identify just the essential changes between software versions. So it makes it practical to send an update to Series 60 over the air, basically. So you might go and check once a month, and you might each time find a couple of small updates that will cumulatively bring Correct. you up to... Yep, precisely. Yeah, precisely. And uh, in some cases, you know, this is a user-initiated scenario. Yeah. In some other deployments around the world, you know, the operators are actually pushing the update out to their customers. So prompting the customer, the new version of firmware available, it's got these enhancements, do you want to take it or not? So it's uh, quite interesting. So anyway, we'll, we'll decide to install this. Um, now it does warn you that you should back up your phone content. Um, strictly speaking, that's not necessary with photo over the air. We preserve all of the user data on the user disk. Don't touch that. But we're going to accept that, and then we get a legal dialogue that you can't make the phone calls during the update process. So it's a bit of legalese. But so then, I presume yeah. it downloads the patch to the internal disk. You have to have Correct. that free space on your internal disk. There's some reservation of space. So in um, most cases, there is always enough space reserved on the user disk to update or store the update. Okay, but it, does, does the utility check that there is enough space? It does, it? yes, precisely. Okay. And then we kind of reboot the phone and go into this updating mode. And okay. we're actually reflashing the phone now, yeah. or just the bits that have changed in the yeah. firmware image. This is a pretty quick update. So you're literally... Oh, I could yeah. do. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. So this is, this is an interesting one because, you know, as you're doing this, it needs to be fault tolerant because your battery may go low, yeah. it may fall out strangely if yeah. you keep your phone on the desk with the back off. At which point you say, you stupid customer, go to a Nokia service center and get it repaired, or yes. not. Or not, <laughs> as the case may be, <laughs> yes. So if the demo gods are smiling on me, and then it's basically now validating the firmware image, rebooting into the new version of the uh, Series 60. So your, your yep. utility effectively overwrites the files on the Z drive yep. with the new files. So it's just, right. just literally patching in new files. Well, it, it works at the kind of raw flash level. So we're actually reading and writing raw flash sectors okay. rather than going in file by file. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, essentially it, it's just updating sectors that have changed in the firmware image that need to be updated. Okay. 
So we've got a little dialog saying the update's complete, and now what we're going to do is to connect back to the Nokia server to, yeah, to say, I've updated successfully. I presume the fact, the fact that the patch was 128k is because the, the flashing blocks are 128k each. Uh, in this phone they are, yeah. It's a it's a coincidence though, in, but you're quite correct. The array's unit size is around 128k. Okay. But um, obviously on, on this handset, Nokia have deployed a number of updates now um, in the field, and um, yeah, I think it's been quite successful in terms of the uptake oh, of the feature on the N78. And it, out, it offers tremendous user benefit instead of having to cable up and yeah, wait yeah. and... We have about 32 different licensees of our software. Uh, most of the leading mobile phone uh, providers are our customers. In addition, uh, other companies such as M2M -M module manufacturers, companies that make PC cards, WiMAX modems. Um, our software is shipped in 365 million mobile phones. And in terms of Symbian-based devices, we're the photo provider for uh, Series 60 phones, UIQ phones, and also Moab S phones in Japan. But obviously not Samsung S60 phones, because they're not a customer of yours. Not Samsung. They're, okay. they're, they're one of the few, yes. Okay, so uh, not yet. But they happened to mention that they were working on firmware over the air for their latest products. I just wanted to check if there was a tie-in there. So they're often having to roll their own and recreate what you've done. So what's the future for Red Bend in 2009? What's, the, what's, what's coming up? Yeah, uh, we're continuing to innovate and bring more uh, advanced mobile software management solutions to the market. Um, our newest product is called VRAP and Mobile. And in this product, we give OEMs and operators the ability to customize the software and services that are available to mobile phone subscribers. So instead of, in this case, we're updating the entire firmware image at one time, which is typically used for maintenance releases uh, to provision software improvements to mobile consumers. But with our new product, Free Rapid Mobile, we have the ability to provision uh, individual software component updates over the air. So if an operator wants to launch uh, a new mobile service, and that service is dependent on certain middleware components in the phone, we can surgically update those middleware components. Uh, or an application, if there's a consumer that wants to download a new application, like a 3D game, uh, and the, the game is dependent on a 3D codec, for example, but the consumer's phone doesn't have that, um, our solution will recognize the dependency. So and package that, those up together and bring those to the consumer's phone. So effectively that's working at the file level, whereas this firmware of the app patching is working at the flash block level. So you've got both options. You can either update. Yeah. You can either update, you can treat this as one version of firmware and lifecycle manage it in that way, or you know, you can individually manage components within the load. Yeah. And um, you know, obviously stuff that's touching internet services, which evolve very quickly, you want to be able to update those on a more frequent basis than maybe the base plan So it gives our customers flexibility and at the end of the day, you know, people like you and I who use these phones, the best possible kind of experience and service. Okay. And Red, are Red Bend growing? Are you yeah, we're about 100 employees now worldwide. Uh, we have offices in, in London, Tokyo, Seoul, Beijing, Tel Aviv and Boston. We continue to gain a market share. Right now we have almost 60% market share in firmware updating. Yeah. And it's going to be a busy show for you? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think it will be, yes. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.